Let's talk about the Ferrari 208 GT4 and its powerful V8 engine, which is one of the automotive industry's most impressive engineering feats, especially for its size. Ferrari is known for making some of the smallest engines, and the 208 GT4 features one of the smallest V8 engines ever installed in a road car. The 208 GT4 had a brand new V8 engine designed specifically for it, parting ways from Ferrari's previous Dino V8 architecture. The 208 GT4 was the domestic alternative to the 308, and using a smaller engine also helped save money on taxes. It had a 2.0 liter naturally aspirated engine that produced 155 horsepower and 130 pound feet of torque. The V8 engine in the 208 GT4, it was known for being smooth and quick, and it was mounted transversely, meaning it was mounted across the car rather than along its length. This was a very unique design feature for a V8 engine of the time. It helped save space and improve the car's weight distribution which in turn helped improve its overall performance and handling. The aerodynamic design of the 208 GT4 had a significant impact on its high-speed performance and stability. The rear spoiler was one of the car's most important aerodynamic components. It was designed to increase downforce and decrease drag on the vehicle. Because of the spoiler, the car stayed on the road even at high speeds, and this improved the stability and safety of driving. The shape and design of the car's body were also optimized for aerodynamic efficiency. The car's low, wide stance and smooth aerodynamic body reduced wind and increased speed. The car's underbody was actually designed to smooth the flow of air beneath the car, which reduced drag and allowed the car to use less gas. The engine's double overhead camshaft design improved its speed and fuel economy. This design made it easier to control the engine's valves and improved the timing, resulting in a more powerful and quick engine. The sound of the engine starting, as with all Ferraris, was like music to the ears. It was thought to be angelic by some. And the smooth acceleration and sharp handling of the car took your breath away sometimes literally. The 208 GT4's V8 engine used a dry sump lubrication system, which made it run better and last longer. And this system keeps the engine oiled even when driving at high speeds. The Weber carburetor on the 208 GT4's V8 engine improved gas mileage and performance. This carburetor was designed to provide a precise and consistent mix of fuel and air directly to the engine. And this increased the engine's power and responsiveness. As one of Ferrari's smaller V8 engines, it still had a ton of power. It topped out at about 150 miles an hour and could accelerate from 0 to 60 in 6.5 seconds. The way the Ferrari 208 GT4 looked was one of the things that made it so unique and memorable. Pininfarina, one of the world's most famous car design firms, created the car bringing forward that sleek, aerodynamic body that was both stylish and practical. It was designed to be a more compact and sportier version of the Dyno 246 GT. With that low, wide stance, the appearance of being strong yet aggressive, the body of the car was made of aluminum. This reduced weight and improved performance. The front grille was one of the most notable design features. It had black mesh inserts that gave the car a scary and aggressive look. The interior was also sporty and yet practical, designed to be both comfortable and simple to use. Overall, the Ferrari 208 GT4 was the ideal blend of style and function. The V8 engine in this beauty is highly sought after by car enthusiasts and collectors. It's a valuable piece of automotive history that demonstrates how engineering and design can be used to create almost anything. These are Interesting Things with JC.